Hey guys, as if we didn't see this coming, here we go. Heating oil prices are near record highs according to the Maine Governor's Energy Office just within weeks until winter. The middle of October, today's 14th. Um, prices are up, knew this was coming, right? And specifically K1, which is kerosene, is being mentioned. Um, we have basically two different types of heating fuel here. Uh, people who have indoor barrels. So if you have a house with a basement and your heating barrel is inside, you can get number two. And that is cheaper. But if your barrel is outside, so let's say you have a mobile home, double wide, something like that, and you have no way to have your barrel inside to keep your oil warm, you need to have K1 or kerosene because if you put number two outside, it's going to gel up. Well, you can't really suck gel through a fuel system. So, here in the news, K1 kerosene sits at $5.32 a gallon. Uh, one lady says she can't find anybody and asked, yeah, find anybody, find it, can't find kerosene, and asked if there is a shortage. So, the answer is, yep, there is. So, here is the reasons. The war in Ukraine, Western countries boycotting Russian oil, Refineries ratcheting back capacity and increased overall demand for jet fuel, which is almost identical to K1. So there you go. Now, the sources for this were quoted from the main governor's energy office. And uh, what was the other source here? Just a second, let me find it. And the Maine Energy Marketers Association President slash CEO, Charlie Summers. So there are the sources. So what are we looking at for actual rough prices right now? Dated October 3rd, so a little bit less than two weeks ago. <clears throat> this is coming right off Maine.gov. Heating oil prices. Your average for my area is $4.35 a gallon. The high is $4.78. The low is $4. So it all, matter, it all depends on where you get it. Kerosene, the K1 that nobody can seem to find right now. 527. So, yep, yeah, that's in the 532 range. Like I said, this is just under two weeks old. Propane, $3.03. Three oh, statewide, the average of number two fuel oil, 438. The high, six bucks. The low, four bucks. Kerosene, 532. Propane, 327. I mean, I could quote you all these numbers, which are not going to be, you know, right down to the cents. Right now, cents doesn't matter. It's dollars. You know, who gives a crap if they're paying four dollars and seventy-eight cents or four dollars and eighty-three cents? What's the difference of five cents a gallon? It doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is when you're looking at a difference of five dollars or three dollars. So. Prices are high, and you can't get it. So, folks with the outdoor barrels this winter are pretty much hosed, is what it's looking like here. Um, it ain't good. I mean, 
even if you have the money to be able to afford right now in October, and it's going to get worse, even if you can afford 532 a gallon for K1, if you can't get it, you can't get it, right? So it's been a while since I've done a review of my uh, videos pertaining to heat. So I'm going to go take a look at those numbers and see how those are doing. Also looking at main.gov here. Um, this is still a date of October 3rd. Firewood price per cord. 300 bucks wood pellets 312 a ton um yeah yep <clears throat> and uh i don't know what the wood pellet situation is right now but all through the spring and summer <clears throat> trying to get firewood has been pretty uh pretty stingent this summer, I uh, made a short video, briefly talked about, I talked to a wood supplier, said, hey, is it true that firewood's in high demand and, you know, you guys can't keep up with it? Yep, that was true. And he's the guy that told me that he get a phone call from somebody he had no idea who they were, demanding immediate service, demanding same-day delivery. Yep. Uh, way back in... I think it was April or May, I ordered a truckload of tree length wood, softwood, that got delivered. And shortly thereafter, I put in an order for another load. It's middle of October now. Nowhere to be seen. Because, I mean, there's no shortage of trees, but the demand is so high, workload is high, workforce is low, so it is what it is, right? Alright, so let's get to uh, going back in time a little bit here and seeing specifically how the numbers have increased on these heat videos. So go check out heat concerns part six. Um, just check the numbers. Um, some of those videos are uh, up quite a bit. 